Here at home, voices growing louder asking the U.S. government and its allies put more pressure on Russia through sanctions and close Ukraine's airspace. For the second Sunday, people gathering at the state capitol demanding government leaders do more. Sacramento's mayor also speaking on the issue. Fox 40's Garsh Paul Sanga joining us now live from the state capitol with what the mayor had to say as well as the action that people want to see taken. Garsh Paul. Eric, that rally wrapped up here about two hours ago, two, three hours ago, right in front of the west steps of the state capitol. You can see the state capitol dome still lit up in Ukraine colors, blue and yellow. And as the images come out of Ukraine, uh, some people I spoke to say it, the time to sit on the sidelines is over and they're demanding action from leaders on all levels. No war in Ukraine. No war in Ukraine. On the west steps of the California State Capitol was once again filled with signs, flags, and chants. Opposing the Russian invasion of Ukraine. People demanding more be done to stop Russia from causing even more devastation to Ukraine and its people. The United States government, the only government who can stop this right now. Strengthen the sanctions as much as possible. This is the second Sunday where they've held a rally here on Capitol grounds, but the message remains the same. They're asking the U.S. and its allies to close Ukraine's airspace. They keep talking that they don't want a full-scale war, they don't want World War III, but believe me, I'm from Russia. I know these people, I know this government. War War III is already here. Tyre Mamadov and others say the U.S. and other countries need to step up to the plate and intervene. They wonder how many more lives need to be lost before more help arrives. We have to do it now. Also asking for governments across the world to stop importing Russian oil. It doesn't matter to me how severe our challenges and problems are. Um, we can all sacrifice. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg supports cutting off the limited supply America already gets from Russia. He and other local and state leaders at the rally showing support for the Ukrainian community. Mayor Steinberg says Sacramento is ready to accept Ukrainian refugees. We were one of the first uh, to accept Afghan refugees. If Ukrainians need to come to this country, uh, we will welcome them with open arms. The mayor praised President Joe Biden's dealing with this conflict and says protecting Ukraine's airspace is difficult right now. It's a very difficult situation, but uh, the no-fly zone is the right call. The question is, who enforces it? I think the, the, the best way for America to avoid um, an even broader war and also do everything possible to help the Ukrainian people is to continue to send arms in large numbers, uh, anti-aircraft uh, missiles. Some believe it might be too late. Stop Russian aggression! Stop Russian aggression! And Mayor Steinberg says he supports imposing even more sanctions on Russia. Now, a representative with the California Military Department was also here at the rally, and he says that California is helping this crisis through humanitarian effort. Reporting live from the state capitol, I'm Garch Walsunga, Fox 40 News. All right, Garch Paul, thank you for that.